Talk about the Jacksonville Jaguars. Really interesting team this year. They've undergone significant change this offseason. They had, of course, the first overall pick as Trevor Lawrence made the job as desirable as pretty much any that became available this offseason. And it feels fitting to start with Trevor Lawrence, who right now, Mike, is being ranked accordingly. I'm at quarterback 13. You've been quarterback 14. Daniel has been quarterback 15. Talked a lot about my quote unquote guys list this year. And I thought about putting Trevor Lawrence on my guys list. However, I'm reserving that right in case Trey Lance or Justin Fields is named the starter for his team because just because, and not that Trevor Lawrence is a bad runner, he's a very good runner, but um, I think there's a chance that Trey Lance and Justin Fields, who are a bit more dynamic, or definitely more dynamic as athletes, could have more design runs go in their favor. I'm sort of holding a rookie quarterback spot for either one of them on the guys list, but really excited about Trevor Lawrence. He is, and this is not hyperbole, is, is regarded as the best prospect in at least nine years since Andrew Luck. Some people think he's the best prospect since John Elway back in 83. There's so much to be excited about right now in Jacksonville. No question about it. I'm super pumped. I mean, just look at, first of all, he has a size and a huge arm, right? He's prototypical yeah. size. He has the production. 40 games at Clemson, nine, 90 touchdowns. 90. Picks. 90. 90. In- unbelievable. <laughs> 40, 40 games. Also, and to your point about rushing, and I think this is kind of important, right? Because if you're – in that range, right? Like 12, 13, 14, you want to take a shot on a quarterback. You probably want a guy that can run the ball, right? So let's talk about that because 776 yards, 17 touchdowns on the ground the past two seasons. Uh, Keep in mind this, by the way, and not that they were facing a ton of stiff competition, but in college statistics, if you take a sack for eight yards, that subtracts from your rushing total as a quarterback too. So that number is probably closer to maybe 900, a thousand yards. Exactly right. You're, You're exactly right. So, I looked back a little history here. So 2010 to uh, 2020, eight quarterbacks were picked first overall, right? So think about all that pedigree yep. going first overall. Three finishes top 10 fantasy quarterbacks, Cam Newton, Andrew Luck, Kyler Murray. Yep. All three at at least 255 rushing yards, and none of the other five reached 255. So all three that got there were top 10 fantasy quarterbacks. Can Trevor Lawrence get there is the question. The answer is absolutely he can get there. He has that ability. So that should give you make you feel a little better about his floor. And also, as we're going to get to here, pretty good supporting cast. They, you know, not to mention their defensive struggles. They focus their assets on the draft, on a couple offensive players as well, especially in the early rounds. You know, I think they're going to have to play catch up. They're going to have to move the football. A lot's going to be on his arm as a rookie. He's going to scramble. He's going to run. I think there's a chance for him to be an, a QB1 as a rookie. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.